Hi, welcome to a new episode here and uh, today we are going to talk about uh, distal end cutters and I have um, two, um, two uh, instruments here and um, <clears throat> I'll tell you the pros and cons of each and uh, I'll tell you which one I prefer but the uh, purpose of distal end cutters is of course to cut the end of the wire uh, once you insert, insert it in the brackets and the tubes or the, the molar bands and it's supposed to cut the wire flush to the tube on the molar <clears throat> and uh, uh, also it has the purpose of to hold the wire um, after it's been cut so the patient doesn't accidentally swallow it. Um, this is just a type of down. Actually, it's not a really accurate uh, illustration what I usually use. Uh, I like to use bands on the molars, not tubes. Um, these bondable tubes uh, often come off and it's very difficult to position them especially it's difficult to position them perfectly uh, so I do like to use bands instead of these um, uh, cementable tubes uh, uh, and the reason, the other reason is when you, <clears throat> when you use these distal end cutters it's very easy to knock these tubes loose um, so um, the, the purpose of the distal end cutters would be also to so you don't uh, damage these tubes because if you accidentally uh, crimp it then the wire will not slide through it so then you will have to change your band uh, or your tube. So if you have a larger uh, distal end cutter and you can't see really well back there, you can uh, uh, accidentally crimp this tube and then you you will change the shape of the tube and of course your uh, larger wire like the 19 by 25 will, will not slide uh, through it and then you have to change it. Um, so it's important to find a distal end cutter that's going to be able to accomplish the two things which is cut the wire, cut it flush to the uh, to the uh, uh, to the tube, as well as to hold the wire so it doesn't uh, fall into the patient's mouth. So this is the Hugh Freedy one. We use a lot of Hugh Freedy instruments. Um, <clears throat> um, this is just um, one of their models that has a little silicone insert, and uh, uh, this is actually a flush cutter as well as it holds the wire. Um, and if you want to see it in action, this is just a 16 wire. Um, if I hold it here and um, cut it, it will hold the uh, wire as well as it uh, cut the uh, wire flush uh, to where you gr actually grip it. So <clears throat> this works quite well. Um, one of the pros about this instrument is that you can change this uh, uh, little silicone um, rubber piece that's going to hold the wire. Um, oftentimes the um, distal end cutters have a wire that uh, in place of the silicone uh, insert that actually after so many uses it kind of wears out so it's nice that in these instruments you can just swap out the silicone inserts and uh, you can keep using it so I do like this uh, uh, Hugh Freedy instrument the head of the instrument is a little bit thicker than uh, um, my favorite one of the Dentorum one but uh, um, it does seem to work real well and as I said it will accomplish both of the things uh, cut the wire flush and hold it as well so that's a good instrument um, now here is uh, here's my favorite one I've been on a mission to find a perfect distal end cutter and I have probably about 20 or 25 different kinds and um, I like uh, this one this is made by Dentorum here's uh, paperwork I just uh, received this instrument not that long ago and I do do have several instruments from them. Uh, it's a it's a German company, <clears throat> and this is their uh, premium line uh, uh, distal end cutter um, flush mini, uh, and it, it does have a silicone ring as well, very similar to the Hugh Freedy one. Um, but this one has a much smaller head. It's even uh, even skinnier at the tip. Uh, than the Hugh Freedy one or a lot of the other ones and the neat thing about it is it's super easy to get back to these last molars because the, the head of this instrument is just so small uh, it really is uh, um, a very delicate instrument and I do really like it um, <clears throat> you, uh, you, can, uh, um, you can cut with these instruments flush so you will cut your wire flush uh, where you're holding it and it will also hold the wire so the patients will not swallow it that way it won't accidentally fall in the patient's mouth so it works <coughs> very much the same way as any other distal end cutter or like the Hugh Freedy one when you hold the wire you squeeze you cut and it, there's the little piece that uh, 
um, that you actually cut so it actually holds the wire really well and um, uh, the way it does it is it just instead of um, um, that silicone uh, insert that the Hugh Freedy had uh, which you can see here um, this one has a silicone ring which actually even uh, super easy to uh, replace um, as you can tell there is that silicone ring it just pops onto the to the instrument and it's really easy to change it's basically it's just like almost like an elastic ring um, but um, uh, it does everything you ask for it it's a flush cutter it holds the wire and it's super easy to get back to the last molar to cut that wire and, and um, avoid uh, crimping the tube um, so this is by far my favorite right now um, and um, I suggest that maybe you try different ones and see which one you like um, but I think it's important to find one that has the um, small, smallest head as possible and I think it's important that, that your distillant cutter is going to hold the wire as well as cut flush so your patients won't swallow it so either yeah, one of these instruments is really good um, I do like the Hugh Freedy makes really high quality instruments and a lot of some of the instruments like I think the ligature cutters they even have uh, sharpening you can buy them with uh, um, uh, you can send them back for uh, reconditioning and sharpening and Dentorum um, has a warranty on these and I, I, and I love these I never had any problem with these instruments I have several of these um, so um, any question just send us an email and uh, um, check out our website we have some videos on our website and on our YouTube and don't forget that we have a two-year orthodontic uh, comprehensive orthodontic program for those of you who like to learn uh, comprehensive orthodontics and if you have any questions about any topics just make sure send us an email and check out our website or our Facebook page for upcoming uh, uh, seminar dates and locations thank you and have a good rest of the week